All right, well, Halloween means an oh, candy overload, and one time Devin stole my watch, but that's another story for another time. Anyway, we've got a way for you to use up a bunch of your sweet stash for one great dessert. Jessica Crozier is here in the Price Chopper Kitchen to show us how to put together a candy and ice cream pound cake. First off, do you guys really have leftover candy at your house? Well, we don't have kids yet, oh, so okay. <laughs> sometimes we don't hand all of it out. Usually when we get to the last few kids of the night, we're just like, here, just take just it. Just take it but, all. But, you know, you might have some leftover candy, whether from a work party, from your kids bringing home pillowcases full of candy, yeah, and you're right. trying to get them to space it out. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we have an ice cream pound cake idea for how to use that. All right, so how do we start? We need our pound cake. Where do you go in, in the store to find this? Yes. Yeah, so you can get a pound cake ready to go. Uh, Sara Lee makes a great frozen option. Oh, so perfect. it's in like the, the frozen freezer. aisle by like the pie crusts and oh, okay. different dessert type things like that. So I just pick those up because they're ready to go. Yeah, easy. I uh, love it. And then uh, to get started, it's really simple. You'll just cut it. I've already done it, but you'll just cut it three ways, long ways. It's so about a half inch, mm -hmm. different sizes. Okay. Yeah. And then really after that, it's just layering it together. Am I going to work with this one over here? Yes. So okay. I have a set for you if you want to follow along. All right. So but I you'll put, put the, the bottom layer in. Base layer in first. And then you'll grab some ice cream. Okay. And you want to let this soften for about an hour, hour and a half, so that it's easy to spread. And that just leaving it out on the counter so yeah. it can soften at mm -hmm. room temperature? Now, if you let it sit out too long, it's probably going to get, get soupy, yeah. which we can see this is on the verge, but timed it out okay. But okay. you'll need like a couple scoops per layer. Beautiful. And then you can use a spatula and just spread it out. It doesn't have to be nice and neat. Um, it's going to get all smashed together Perfect. when nice you're layering it. Nice and neat is not my forte <laughs> in the kitchen. Uh, one thing that I skipped right at the beginning is uh -oh. we're using the pan that the pound cake actually came in. So oh, you don't need any dishes Perfect. Um, to get this going. Additional from the ice cream scoop and stuff. Okay. And then I just put in some saran wrap to uh, Make it easier to line it so you can pop it out way easier. Perfect. So yeah, you just, uh, after you get ice cream in, you can pick your candy topping. Ooh, uh, this is my favorite part. <laughs> so I have Reese's right here. There is Butterfinger butter there. And you'll probably just want about half a cup and just sprinkle it in. I mean, in. most would want half a cup. Now me. I mean, you can put as much in as you want. How much candy do you have left over at your house? Well, it's usually like the bad candy that's left over, like Smarties. Do you like Smarties? Mm -hmm. Do you really? Yeah, why not? You're like the only well, person that likes Smarties that I know. <laughs> I don't that like might Smarties. be better with like a um, a sweet or a less chocolatey ice cream. True. I have chocolate ice cream because I love chocolate ice cream. I love cream. chocolate ice cream too. So more, second layer is more, uh, more, more ice cream. Yep, more ice cream and then uh, more candy. How do you, do you... Uh, use a food processor for the candy? Yes. Do, what's the best way to get it so, chopped up? So good question. I use my food processor and it uh, makes it really easy. If you don't have a food processor, I have another tip for you. Okay. Um, if you unwrap the candy bars and get like a chef's knife, you yeah. can um, line them up, kind of like you're chopping herbs. Oh, okay. And just, it takes a little bit more work, but you can chop them like you're chopping herbs. and. Um, Especially with like the Butterfingers and like this is Heath Bar, yeah. they usually chop really A little bit easy, easier. So. How do you not, uh, keep from eating the candy when you're chopping it up? Um, I mean, you eat a little bit as you okay. do it, right? Making sure we're both on the same page here. <laughs> so you are, did you go with um, Reese's again or did you go with? I went Reese's okay. again. I'm going to go Butterfinger on the bottom layer with M&M's in the middle layer. Ooh, nice. I like the switch up. Okay. So once you get it all layered, um, this saran wrap, does dual purpose, you'll want to like wrap it really tight. Okay. Uh, and then you'll pop this back into the freezer All right. until it hardens back up. Beautiful. So probably about four to six hours. Oh, I'm not sure I can wait that long. Yeah, well, <laughs> do it overnight, you know, and then when you wake up in the morning, you can have it for breakfast. All right, beautiful. No one ever <laughs> said uh, ice cream for breakfast is, is bad, especially on November 1st, right? Exactly. All right, well, it's Jessica Crozier. She's from mm -hmm. the Price Chopper Kitchen. And for more great ideas and fresh dish recipes, visit mypricechopper.com and also find demo videos to get extra how-to help. Let's put these in the freezer, what do you say? Yeah. All right.